We try to do a couple of formal exercises a year, and then we take advantage, like if, if we just have not really a breach, but you know, because you know, there's always something going sideways in IT, if it rises to the level of, let's use our plan, let's use our incident response plan, because I want people to become familiar with using it yeah. and feeling comfortable with it, and we'll revise it if there's anything that doesn't make sense. So that when we get to our formal exercises, everybody just has a level of understanding where it's not like, oh, we haven't looked at that for like yeah. two quarters. What was that all about? What's that plan all? Right. So we want people to feel like, refer to it. You know, it's, it's a living document. We want you to, because when, when something happens, we don't want people fumbling around or not knowing what they want to do. We want everybody, both our IT people, our information security people, and our business people, whom we always involve in our exercises, to feel like, I'm comfortable with this. I know who's at the table. I know what their roles and responsibilities are. And that's really important. If you pull people together and they've really never had a chance, it's like, why are they here? And I'm not really sure what I'm doing. And what are they doing? So everybody's doing the same thing, or nobody's doing what they should be doing. So, and if you don't practice it, yeah, you're going to get rusty, and you know there's turnover. You know people yeah. have new roles and responsibilities. So I think it's really important to try to exercise that plan as much as possible.